a person wanted to know, why is everyone getting shingles nowadays? I mean, it seems like everyone's getting shingles. Now, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but there definitely is an increase in the amount of people getting shingles. Now, what is shingles? It's a virus. It's called herpes zoster, and it's um, a virus that remains dormant for many, many years, and then it can come out and create all sorts of pain and misery, especially on the surface of the skin that follows nerves around your rib cage. It can come up to your back, through the front. In fact, it can become so painful, um, certain people become suicidal. So it's a really big deal. Normally, one and a half to 2.5 people out of a thousand will get shingles, okay? But between 2000 and 2007, three out of a thousand people are getting it. So it's definitely going up. And there's even a higher incidence of people getting shingles in certain areas of the country, which I'm going to talk about. So you have the situation where this virus is in the dormant stage and it's just waiting there. It's not doing anything. It's waiting for the right environment so that it can come out and create a lot of discomfort for you. It has to do with how healthy your immune system is. If there's anything suppressing your immune system, that's when it comes out. So again, the topic of viruses come down to your own immune system. Is it healthy? Is it weak? It's an area that not many people emphasize, but it's not until your immune system gets weakened or suppressed that this virus then comes out and creates the problem. So let's talk about what can trigger this virus coming out of remission. Number one, drugs for cancer, drugs for asthma, prednisone, drugs for autoimmune diseases, all will suppress your immune system. Number three, radiation has a strong effect of bringing this virus out of remission. So how are you exposed to radiation? Well, you can get an x-ray. Or what about sun? Why is it that the majority of outbreaks of shingles occur during the summer months? It's because of the sun. So more sun, more radiation, more outbreaks. Stress can be a big factor in whether this virus comes out of remission. A poor diet, lack of nutrients, lack of sleep. And number seven, and this is why I'm doing this video. This is an extra thing that I didn't know before. I found some interesting research on it, so I wanted to share it with you. Pesticides and insecticides. Yes, those have a direct effect on weakening your immune system. And unfortunately, guess what's been going up in recent years? More exposure to pesticides and insecticides. So we're just going to add another thing to the list to help you keep these pesticides out of your body. So number one, this is what I'm going to recommend if you have shingles, do fasting. Very, very important. It's going to help you. Number two, vitamin D, probably about between 40 and 50,000 I use because you need a very strong natural thing that acts like cortisol to actually put this thing back in remission but not sun. Even though the sun helps you activate vitamin D, I'm going to recommend getting the vitamin D directly from a supplement and not getting the radiation because vitamin D will help, but we don't need the radiation in this situation. Number three, vitamin C. In this case, I would take higher amounts, like a thousand milligrams, three times a day. Number four, zinc. I'd probably take anywhere between 50 to 100 milligrams of zinc. Number five, L-lysine. Number six, melatonin. And number seven, to pull out these pesticides, I would start consuming more cruciferous vegetables. And the one I would eat more of would be radishes, okay? Radishes have a very potent effect at creating the um, detox that you need to pull out these pesticides and insecticides. And of course, start eating organic as well because that's going to be vitally important. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.